One Precious Light, and today we are going into a question that was introduced to me over what is the difference between space-time and time-space and why does it matter? This is definitely debatable and it depends on your perspective. So I'm coming from a cosmic perspective, which means that I'm looking at things uh, throughout the entire cosmic plane that is material and immaterial. We're looking at things from a 13 zero point source perspective, 12D, 11D, all the way through to 1D, okay? So we're looking at the entire perspective. It's not a universal perspective. It's not based on the earth experience. We're looking at a cosmic level, okay? That's why this is a little bit different. So space-time and the way I use it is uh, space-time space is primary. Time, space, time is primary. Within our space and time, which is material, we can share this time with other beings that don't share this space. In space time, this is the material reality. Time, space is immaterial. Space time is particle based. Time, space is wave based or frequency based, okay? Within space time, we also can experience time space if we elevate our consciousness to the level to be able to engage with those energies and those frequencies. Within our space time, we could be working with say an Archangel like Archangel Michael or Metatron or Raphael. They will not be occupying our same space, but they will be occupying our same time. Okay, that's the difference. So you're not going to see them walking around flesh and bones. You're going to connect to them in time space, through time space. And that is how we integrate and uh, work with higher dimensional beings. Now, we can also look at this through the densities. Densities one through six are space time, and that's because they are material. The seventh density is a transformational uh, bandwidth that moves you from material reality into the immaterial. Densities eight through 13, which is the zero point of source, are immaterial etheric. So we are dealing with just energy, just frequency. Now we can have experiences there, it's the heavenly realm, but they are not physical, they are not dense, they are not physical experiences. In uh, my book, this is Or of God, I have this map, okay? Space-time equals matter and time-space equals light. So within this map, we can see, in this map, we can see the emanation of the densities and how they expand out from source to get denser and denser and denser, and how they expand out from planetary as well as personal fields, and they get lighter and lighter and lighter. And that is essentially what we're looking at here. Another way to look at it is through a more linear perspective instead of the circular. We have time space, 13 through eight, seven is a transformational density, and we have space time is six through one. 13 is a zero point to source, one is a zero point to source also, okay? Um, over here we have matter, material world, over here we have light and energy. Now, this is also light and energy, okay? The material world, but it's densified so much that we can experience it as matter. And that's the shift as we move down the densities, the uh, frequencies start slowing down, slowing down, slowing down so much so that we experience them as matter, okay? That's space time. So we create space through the densification of the frequencies. And as we elevate, we are stepping out of that matter or material-based reality and beginning to experience time space, which is outside of space. And essentially these are outside of time and space, but these energies are, can enter our time, but not specifically our space because they're not dense enough to do that. That is the difference there. Once we move beyond 70, 
we will not be material beings. We will not be mass-based or material-based uh, because we won't be dense enough to hold those frequencies. So what we're working on through uh, this light body activation and the ascension path is moving up so that we're closer to these, what I call cosmic energies. These would be universal. These would be cosmic. This whole thing is cosmic, but this is primarily the cosmic energies that you can reach here. But as your frequency rises, you can begin to work with, integrate cosmic energies, work with higher dimensional light beings and energies and bring them into the material landscape to help spiritualize matter and reality. Okay, so I hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.